So we've been offering a Future Shock Delete Kit in our online store for more than a year now. We've got a whole video on why we created it, but in short, people who buy a bike equipped with the Future Shock sometimes don't realize the proprietary nature of the system and are stuck having to purchase a very expensive replacement unit when theirs eventually goes bad because there are simply no other options on the market. So for this reason, the FSD kits have been pretty popular. For owners of the Specialized, Diverge, Roubaix, Ruby, Cirrus, and any other Future Shock equipped bike. Now these retain a completely stock appearance when installed and they're designed to be a direct replacement for the Future Shock 1.0, 1.5, 2.0 and the new 3 series Future Shocks. They of course eliminate the shock absorption property of the Future Shock, but some actually prefer the stiffer and more direct feel, and deleting your Future Shock will also save you close to 200 grams in some cases. However, since releasing the original FSD kit, we've received dozens of messages asking if the rigid cartridges can somehow be cut to lower the stem, or if we plan to develop a version of the FSD that allows the handlebars to be lowered or slammed. Now the original FSD kit is designed to be a direct replacement to the Future Shock, and it can't be cut or lowered. But after a few iterations and some third party lab testing, we now have the FSD Slammer Kit available. Now, it may appear at first glance to just be an aluminum adapter sleeve, but there's actually more to it than that especially since this is a critical safety component on the bicycle. Now the material we use here is a 7075 T6 aluminum, which is sufficiently strong for this application. Your typical 6061 alloy isn't gonna be strong enough for this type of component, according to our FEA. It's got an inner chamfer profile that preserves strength at the step between the two diameters, and the top section was designed to use the same top cap that comes with the original FSD kit. A couple of key differences between this and the original FSD cartridge. On the original FSD, we machined flanges and a lip to secure the stock rubber boot that comes on the Future Shock. Again, because we wanted this original version to be a direct factory replacement for the Future Shock. The Slammer version, on the other hand, does away with the boot entirely, which is what allows this version to drop the handlebars by up to 30 millimeters. Another key difference is that the Slammer version here accepts standard diameter one and an eighth stems. Recall that all Future Shocks use a narrower, non-standard clamp diameter, so if you want to run a standard stem, you've got to use a shim like this. Now, the thought with the FSD Slammer is to try and simplify this by just using a standard clamp diameter so you can use any aftermarket stem you want without the compromise in strength that accompanies using a shim on a narrower diameter steer tube. Now, this does mean if you have a stock Future Shock setup and you want to use the FSD Slammer to drop your handlebars, you will need to get a standard stem in addition to this cartridge. Now, you also don't have to slam your stem all the way down. If you want just a mild drop, you can use headset spacers to adjust your fit, but Remember, because the diameter of the base of the Future Shock cartridge is non-standard, you actually can't use standard headset spacers to adjust the handlebar height. Now, for this reason, we also offer Future Shock specific headset spacers, which are machined from 6061 alloy and anodized matte black. Now, these are meant to be a replacement to the black plastic spacers that are supposed to come with your bike, but many have claimed that they didn't receive any spacers or have since lost theirs. These spacers work with either the original FSD or the new FSD Slammer Kit, and you can use up to a maximum of 15 millimeters of spacers to dial in your preferred stem height. Now, both the original and the slammer version of the FSD are lighter than the Future Shock. Now, I don't have a complete list of all of the weights, but the following chart should give you a pretty good idea. Now, not surprisingly, the slammer version will save you a little bit more weight, but in general, you'll be saving between 150 to 190 grams over a stock Future Shock unit. Now, we are aware that there are others out there who sell something similar, but these products don't retain a factory look, and to our knowledge, they haven't been lab tested. Our Future Shock Delete kits are the only ones that we know of that have been independently lab tested and comply with the same ISO standards as all other bike components on the market. So if your Future Shock has started making creaking or popping noises or has otherwise failed in some way and you don't want to spend the money to replace it, you now have two options for a rigid delete kit. Again, the original retains a completely factory look and is a direct replacement, while the new FSD Slammer will allow you to drop your handlebars and use a standard stem with no shims. Now, many people have also just purchased an FSD kit because they would rather save a couple hundred grams if they're doing a ride that doesn't require suspension. So I do apologize if this video came off as an ad. It is a bit of a shameless plug, but we are proud of this new offering. And with both of the FSD versions, we just wanted to give Give people an affordable alternative to having to replace the super proprietary Future Shock unit. After all, once you buy a specialized bike with Future Shock, you've kind of bought into the technology whether you knew it or not, and you're basically stuck since the Future Shock system is baked into the frame design. 
Now, if you want more information, we've got a couple of install videos that go deeper into how to set these up on your bike. Things like minimum insertion dimensions and torque specs and such. So feel free to check those out as well. There's also more information on the web store product page if you're curious and links to everything will be down in the description. If you have any questions, just leave them down below and we'll do our best to get back to you. Thanks again for watching and thanks for subscribing to the channel if you haven't already and we'll see you next time.